come out and have a little fun. Yeah, you know, I think the one thing that we preach to our guys all along is, um, you know, the work you put in from January to get to where we are right now, uh, you got to enjoy these moments. You know, we're obviously out here to win a football game. We practice really hard today. But for the kids to have a little bit of social uh, time, you know, to be with their teammates, be with the fans, a lot of their families are here. Uh, they get some super speed passes to get to the front of the line and get out on all the rides they want. I'm personally satisfied with my teacup ride. I think I'm done for the day, but I know these guys really enjoy it. No, uh, no Matterhorn or anything? No, You're not no. the adventurous? I'm not. Uh, I'm a little scared of heights, uh, so I kind of stay close to the ground. I like slow things, so it's, it's one of those things that we'll just take it one day at a time. Talk about, uh, you were here last year, Deep. now you know how to mix fun yeah. and, and business. Yeah, I'll even go back, you know, yesterday we went to the Rose Bowl, and, and uh, last year our kids kind of just were helter-skelter all over the place, but yet, like, yesterday when they were there, you could see them, they went to a certain spot on the field, they had a DB picture, they took a O-line picture, they took a linebacker picture, and they kind of were just a little more organized on their own, so it kind of just gives me that same feeling moving forward for the rest of the week. Will you guys be... Sure. Yep. Did Pete practice today? Pete did practice today. Did. Did yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, he, uh, uh, he was chomping at a bit uh, last week, but uh, um, today we just had limited work. It was only a 12-period practice, so I think it was a, a perfect practice for him to kind of just jump in and see where he's at. What does he have to do to, to get in there and be able to start? Well, if, first he has to you know, be the pecans that we knew. Um, I make sure that he's full strength. I don't want to put him out there if he's in any way, shape, or form uh, you know, unsure or unsecure of how, how strong he is in every way and every move that he has to make. So it's kind of a work in progress for the rest of the week. Will you guys be wearing your red traditional uniforms, Brett, or do you guys have anything special planned for this uh, Well, we're away games, so we never wear red. Um, um, I know uh, Coach Alvarez had always worn red pants. We wore them last year, which is we're not going to wear them this year. Uh, but there's some things that uh, Adidas has put together for us. I think some of it's already out there a little bit. I know, we, I know they're piecemealing it out there, uh, but it'll be a little bit of a variation, but not much. Do you... As a coach, I'd, I'd sense you, that stuff doesn't matter to you at all. But does it? Does well, it, it does matter to me. I yes. think that our brand is is the Motion W. It's the, it's what we are. It's who we are. Uh, uh -huh. Coach Alvarez, uh, you know, got that identity back when he came, and uh, you know, we have one of the most recognized uh, logos and, and looks in the world of college football. I can't tell you how many times people grab me and say how much they love our uniforms and uh, the things that we're going to do with it are very mild, uh, very uh, small in, in, in look, but. I think it's going to mean something to our players because it's of significance getting here and it's going to be really neat.